Hi, it's Amy on a lolly life. Today we are going to talk about cleaning sandals because I have leather sandals and I have worn them way too much. Unlike some people, I actually don't love going out trying to find another pair of favorite sandals. When I have a pair of favorite sandals, they're a favorite for a reason. And so I really would like to get rid of the toe marks in my favorite sandals. And so that's what we're gonna work on today. Yeah, the bed of the sandals are in sorry shape. When I first decided I was going to clean my sandals, I went out and I looked to see what you actually clean leather sandals with. What is the, the most important thing to clean leather sandals with? What is the right way to do it? And they sell things out there that you can, you know, go out there and buy to clean your leather sandals. And it's not terribly expensive, but I thought, well, I actually don't want to buy those things because it looks like that the little brush that they have with that, that I have some little hard brushes. Maybe I could just use one of those. And so I went and looked up all of the different like home remedies for cleaning sandals. And I was shocked <gasps> because once again, I thought, just because you see it on the internet does not mean it is a good idea, as I have learned many times. So I thought about some of these things and I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I am pretty sure that that will wind up with my sandals being ruined. <clears throat> but there was one way that I was like, okay, I am willing to give that one a go. And if this works, great. And if it doesn't, I will go out and purchase the actual leather cleaning kit. What I have is baking soda and a little bit of water, just enough to liquefy it. And then I have this, I have a stiff bristled brush. It kind of is like just very stiffly bristled. It looks like a giant's toothbrush. In researching ways that you clean the bottoms of your sandals, one of the things that I found was that people use some very interesting things on their leather sandals. Interesting in that I don't think that's healthy for the leather. Now water isn't terribly healthy for it, but in, in small amounts with the baking soda to dry it out, it seemed like that would work okay. But like the people who added dish soap to it, I thought, well, how are you going to rinse out that dish soap? Now I know you only added a little bit, just a few drops, but still it's dish soap that you cannot rinse out of the leather. It just seems like even if it got it a little bit cleaner, it would get dirty faster because of the soap residue now in the leather. Doesn't seem healthy to me. So I decided a no dish soap. And we are just gonna go straight with the baking soda because baking soda dries things out very quickly and it makes it smell better. And everybody knows that their shoes need to smell better. Well, maybe you don't know. Let me tell you, your shoes need to smell better. I started thinking. I wonder if I could just use baking soda, like dry baking soda, and scrub it up like that. Would it work as well? Because you would you have to be very careful about how much of the baking soda with water, how much water you would get on the sandal. Now on the footbed part of the sandal, you could probably get it a little bit more wet and it's not as big of a deal, but on the actual leather straps, you have to be very careful because if you were to get that wet, it would soak through and it could cause a stain on the leather. And so I wanted to know, how would it work if I just used dry baking soda? And so I did one of my sandals with just dry baking soda. Dry, 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 dry baking soda. This is the sandal that I cleaned with only dry baking soda and a brush. And, and it is, clean-ish, but you can see that it's a little bit darker still right in here. Some of the more worn spots are definitely still darker. This is the sandal that I cleaned with the baking soda and water. And I think that it cleaned better. Here, let's do a side by side. Side by side. Ooh, we got octopus noodles going on here. Okay, side by side. You can see how this one is just, it just seems lighter than this one. I see if we can get it so that there's no shadows on it. I cannot do it without shadows. I don't know. I can tell that it's darker right in here and that the more worn spots are just still darker. I much prefer 
the baking soda and water to just plain baking soda. And I will do this one with baking soda and water. I didn't use a ton of water on this one, enough so that like it didn't even, it was dry by the time that I finished doing this one. And I just spent about a half an hour scrubbing at this one with the dry stuff. So it wasn't, I didn't make this very wet. And I'm so happy with how my sandals turned out. They look clean and I don't have like these dark toe spots anymore. It made me feel happy inside. And then I decided my toes, they need to be fancy because my sandals look fancy now because they look nice since I don't have dark toe spots and things. And so I had to paint my toenails. This isn't the first time I've painted my toenails in a lot of years really well and it didn't cost me I don't know I guess well it cost me maybe a few cents in baking soda and some time see you next time on a lolly life